Start with a circle of radius R, and then draw an inscribed regular 2n-gon, like this. Let's figure out the area of this regular 2n-gon. To do that, we can decompose the polygon into triangles. The radius of the circle is R, and there are 2n copies of this triangle that can be used to build the regular 2n-gon. So the area of the regular 2n-gon is 2n times the area of one of these triangles. Now let's draw the inscribed regular n-gon like this, and suppose that this n-gon has a side length of s. Then the triangle that we're interested in has a height of length s over 2 and a base of length r. Therefore, the area of the regular 2n-gon is 2n times 1 half times r times s over 2 but this simplifies to r over 2 times ns, and ns is the perimeter of the regular n-gon inscribed in the circle. But this means that we have shown that the area of the regular 2n-gon inscribed in a circle of radius r is equal to r over 2 times the perimeter of the regular n-gon inscribed in the same circle. But that's not all we can say. Because both the 2n-gon and the n-gon approach the circle, as we let n go to infinity, we get the result that the area of the circle is equal to r over 2 multiplied by the circumference of the circle. If we remember that the circumference of the circle is 2 pi r, then we see that we've found a formula for the area of a circle of radius r to be pi times r squared.